What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. I know it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a video, but I want to talk to you guys about why. Uh, I do have some things that are going to be changing in the fish room. There's been some issues that I've had um, personally. Um, but today we're going to start this video off with, you might notice this tank is empty except for maybe one or two fish left in here. And that's because we're taking these crebensis down and selling them at my local fish store today. Um, we got some of them bagged up right here. And we're going to take them down, sell them to him, and then when we get back, I'll give you an update of things that are changing, things that are going on, and what's been going on here and why I haven't been uploading, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are back from the fish store, sold my fish, now we're back, and now I'm going to tell you guys what's going on. So basically, I haven't been uploading because I have had a lot of uh, illness, and I've been sick. I've been in and out of the doctor's office in the hospital trying to figure out what's going on and they're not 100% sure yet. They're still trying to figure it out, but we're working through it. Uh, nothing life-threatening, we don't think, so uh, that's that. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's why I haven't been doing videos. Um, I am feeling better, so the videos are going to start coming again uh, relatively quickly, hopefully starting with this one. Um, aside from that, the fish room, everything is doing pretty well, aside from some algae that I need to clean off. You know, this tank here has probably got the worst. We've got algae growing in there. Um, but other than that, all the other tanks are doing really well. Plants are growing really good. Fish are very healthy, haven't had any loss or anything like that. So things are going very well. Um, but we are gonna be having some changes out here in the fish room. Um, so basically what's gonna be happening is I'm going to be taking down all four of these tanks and the five of these tanks. And the reason for that is I'm getting bigger aquariums. So you guys, if you've been following for a while, uh, you've noticed that I did have a 300 gallon aquarium that I had out in my garage I was working on. I never got to finish that. I am gonna be finishing that. The 300 gallon is going to be going right here, which is why these four tanks have to go. Um, I'm not getting rid of them. I am saving these because there is potential of a second fish room coming. So I'll be having two fish rooms, uh, one specifically as like my show tanks and my filming room, which is gonna be this room. And I'm gonna be building a new fish room with auto water change and things like that in the back of my house. So all of these tanks are just gonna be getting transferred back there. And those tanks are gonna be mainly focused more on breeding and projects like that. Um, breeding, growing plants, things like that. and helping support my local fish stores with fish supply and plant supply and things like that. Um, so that's what's going to be happening over here. 300 gallons going to be going here. These tanks are going to be going away. Um, and then over here, these tanks are going away, um, kind of. These top two tanks are going to be going away, and this tank is going to be going on top over there. Um, so the Red Devil is going to be up there. And we actually have right here... Uh, my wife got a new red devil, so that's going to be going down here. And if you're wondering what's going to be happening with all these fish, uh, we're going to be using the space right here. I have a 210 gallon aquarium and a 125 gallon aquarium. We are going to be building large community tanks. Like I said, these are going to be really nice display tanks. So we're going to have a 210 gallon on the bottom and a 125 up here on the top very similar to the 150 on the bottom and the 75 long on top. Similar design, that's how it's going to look, except it's going to be a 210 and a 125. Um, so that's basically how that's going to look right here, and that's why these tanks are going away. So I am kind of sad because I did put so much work into building this fish room, um, but I know it's going to be better, it's going to look a lot cooler, and I'm going to be a lot happier having these large tanks um, because with all the medical issues and things going on, it's going to be easier to maintain them in the meantime until I can get the second room built, which is basically going to take care of itself. So i um, pretty excited about that. So when I do get around to doing that, I am going to be having Tim from Ian's Fish Room over here giving me a hand moving some of the larger tanks around. Um, so as we do that, I'll film it, show you guys, because I'm sure you're going to be interested in seeing how we move these big tanks around and things like that, as well as setting everything up, substrates, filtration, blah, 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 all that stuff, right? So aside from that, I'm going to walk you guys through, show you some of the other tanks, other things I've been working on in the time that I haven't been filming, um, and basically finish up this little update video. So 
Let me show you guys the other tanks since you've already seen all of these ones in here. What are you doing? She keeps following me around. Like a little puppy. All right, let's go check out those other tanks. All right, so we'll come out of the fish room here. We'll come into the living room. And we do have the 10 gallon and the 125 out here. Both tanks doing very well. Um, pothos plants up there going crazy. This one strand of pothos here is probably like eight feet long. It wraps back and forth like three times across the top of this tank. It's actually shooting roots down in through my lid. Look at that. So I'll probably uh, work on trimming some of that up and distributing it out to my other tanks to help with nitrate load. Axolotl is doing well. This lid, by the way, if anybody's wondering about that, is still working quite phenomenally um, in keeping that tank cool. Haven't had any issues, and it's been 95 degrees today. Um, as you can see, it is elevated a little bit. Right now it's at 71, but it has not hit 72. So those fans are keeping that water cool enough um, that I don't have to worry about him at all. So we'll come out in the kitchen here. The better rack. All those tanks are doing pretty well. And the planted 65 gallon is growing and filling in quite nicely. Pretty excited to see what this is going to look like uh, probably in about two months when I really start trimming and growing these plants in real heavy. Um, but yeah, all the tanks are doing really well. You know, I haven't had any losses or anything like that, so things are good. So I figure at this point it would probably be a good idea to go out and show you guys the ponds since I don't really show you guys the ponds too much and a little project I've been working on out there. So I'll get into that when we get out there. All right, so if you guys have followed the channel for any amount of time, this is my raised garden pond. Um, so all the plants that I put around it did very well. Um, I didn't plant any tomatoes behind it this year. Um, because I did actually build a garden, so we have planted tomatoes out there. But one thing I do have out here that is growing is I do have strawberry plants. And that's these plants here. You can see we got some strawberries growing in there. We got some flowers on for more strawberries. Some strawberries over here. You got strawberries hanging off the front here. So strawberries are growing very well. We got some bullfrogs couple of them up in here and they've made this home I don't bother them because if you build nature you can't get upset when nature comes right so this is the garden pond um, in one year's time it's filled in quite well I'll show some comparison pictures of what it looked like when I first set it up and what it looks like now because it's vastly different so I'll show those here and I'll go and show you guys the other pond and the little project I've been working on so over here is my other pond, and you'll notice we have a big fence around it now, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff, right? So if we come in here, this pond is my 1,000-gallon pond. Got all the goldfish in here. We got koi in here. Unfortunately, I did end up losing this past winter because we had such a harsh winter. Uh, our one big koi, Coldstone, if you watched the last video, he was the big white one. We did lose him, uh, which is very unfortunate. Um, but uh, we did get some more koi. We'll put them in here. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they are like the little gold ones. So they're going to stand out really well against these goldfish once they grow out. But what I'm using this pond for right now is I'm actually using it as an aquaponics uh, grow tank system. So if you're not familiar with aquaponics, you're basically feeding your fish. Your fish waste is building up in the water column. And then you have plants that use those nutrients, uh, basically take all the nutrients out of the water and then the water is returned back into the pond, which you can see I have a pond pump that runs up into the grow beds. Grow beds have bell siphons in here and the water drains back out here um, once the water reaches a certain level in the grow bed. If you guys want to learn more about aquaponics and you think that this is a pretty interesting thing to you, please let me know. I am more than willing to make aquaponics videos to teach you guys how to do this. You can do this outside or inside with your fish tanks. If that's something that interests you, please let me know. I'd be really excited to teach you guys about it. I've been into aquaponics for a long time, and I did finally get back into it this year, um, as well as gardening. And I'm actually contemplating starting another channel 
um, that would help teach people how to do stuff like this. So if you're interested in that, please let me know as far as the aquaponics and as well as the gardening and homesteading stuff because I may create another channel to help teach you guys about that. Um, one other addition that I've been doing um, is, if you can see the pen here, we got chickens. So if you guys want to learn about chickens on another channel, we can do that too. But uh, as far as aquaponics goes, we've got our plants growing. We've got uh, leaf lettuce growing. We've got spinach coming along pretty well. We've got radishes growing. All kinds of stuff. You can see the, the radishes down here. We've got cucumber plants. We've got tomato plants. There's some bell peppers over here. We've got green bean plants coming along. And these guys are doing really well. With aquaponics, you basically don't have to touch anything at all. You just feed your fish um, and have a pump, and it fills and drains automatically all by itself. Nothing fancy, um, as well as other additional gardening, composting, building, things like that. So that's what I've been working on. That's why I haven't been filming in addition to me being sick and in and out of the hospital. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. Let me see if I can get over this way and get a better image of what's going on here so you guys can see it without the glare from the sun. Pretty good stuff. Here's the chickens. So those guys are awesome. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. That is my update of things that have been happening and why I haven't been uploading and things like that. I am going to be getting back into the uploading of YouTube videos on a regular basis. I'm going to really try to keep it once a week, hopefully two times. Probably going to be closer to one. Um, just because life is so busy and everything I have going on uh, with the fish room updates and everything else. So, uh, as always, thank you guys for supporting me and following the channel. Thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like on it. You know, share it out to your friends. Let's grow the community here. I know a lot of people find these channels, or not these channels, but these videos that I create on the channel helpful, especially new hobbyists. Um, so spread the word of the channel. Get the videos out there. Thank you guys for watching Trafish Aquatics again. Links, as always, in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.